Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you a 2013 NFL Draft Special for the Carolina Panthers. We're handing out draft grades and we're going to take a look at every last selection they made this past April as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. The Panthers had five selections in this year's draft and the first two, in my opinion, were home runs. Arguably two first round talent, Starlo Toledo was my top rated defensive tackle and Kawan Short was my fourth, but I gave him a first round grade. So in my opinion, they addressed a lot of what was wrong with that defense last season. They were getting gashed down the middle of their defense. Teams were able to run the football. Now you add Lotalele and Short, that solves a lot of your issues on the front end. Now what I like most about the Panthers draft was the fact that they were able to come away with two first round talents at defensive tackle. Star Lotalele, in my opinion, is one of the more versatile defensive linemen in this draft. He can play a five technique in a three, four defense. He can play a one or a three in a four, three. So you can move him around your defensive front and get creative in your pressure packages. And when you look at Kawan Short, I love the way this guy gets up the field. His pursuit skills is unquestioned. Your classic three technique or a one technique. I like the way he pushes the pocket and does provide some pass rushing ability. He fell in the draft due to questions about his inconsistent effort, but the talent is definitely there. And AJ Klein out of Iowa State is one of my favorite linebacker prospects. A versatile guy, a three down type of linebacker, can play the run very well and also holds his own in pass coverage. The only head scratcher for me from this Panthers draft is not the fact that they didn't add a wide receiver. I actually believe Joe Adams and Kealoa Polaris can give them what they want out the slot position. Both guys have some explosiveness and run after the catch skills. I also can't knock them for not adding a defensive end. I do believe a guy they drafted last year, Frank Alexander, will fill nicely in their sub packages. What I have to knock them for, and the biggest question I have, is not how can you not add a free safety prospect in this draft to compete with Nakamura back there or eventually take his spot? That was the biggest question mark I had about this Panthers draft. You gotta get better on the back end. They did a great job up front, but now it's time to take care of the back end of the secondary. I believe the Panthers have a couple of guys that are undrafted that could surprise and make the roster. You look at Melvin White, a fellow Raging Cajun out of the University of Louisiana, 6'2", 200 pounds. He can play off corner, also can move to safety if need be. I love his tackling ability. That's one thing that gives him that versatility that could help him stick on the Panthers roster. And you also look at Robert Lester out of Alabama. The biggest question about Lester is whether or not you're going to get 2011 Lester or 2012. But there's no doubt in the fact that he can find the football and can make plays on the ball. And that's one thing that adds an element to the back end that Nakamura doesn't have. So I think he has a great chance to not only stick, but even start for Carolina. I'm giving the Panthers a B minus for their draft. And I know I said earlier in the video that I wasn't going to knock them for not selecting the wide receiver. And I know they've added Teg in and Dominic Hickson. To me, both are not really what you want as threats at the receiver position, but they have to upgrade over Brandon LaFell. Let's see if Joe Adams or Kealoa Polaris emerges as that big play threat opposite of Steve Smith. But I love the two defensive tackles. They will probably start from day one. I think overall, this was a solid draft to help build that defense and get the Panthers back where they want to be in 2013. And I want to give a huge shout out to Panther Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.